Hello everyone, this is another demo about Quick Flicker, the hybrid application implemented with Qt Quick and C++. So let's start first from the desktop. So we haven't authenticated our application yet, so first we need to do that. So this is a QML based browser. Uh, I stole some code from the QML examples. Because I was lazy. So first let's sign in. Okay, this could be a little bit more informative, but I'll fix it later. So now it asks that uh, I should authorize my application, so let's click here. Okay, it says that you have successfully authorized your, the application. You can go ahead and close this window now, so let's close it. So, here is the main view. Uh, like the last time, the contacts is the only one that actually does something, so let's hit button. So now this shows uh, all the contacts that I have and the latest uploads. And now you can see there is a scroll bar which shows the position where we are at the moment. And I'm gonna click um, the item from here. So this, depending on on the image, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to uh, load an image. So you can swipe to the left or right, and you can go back. You can also. Uh, click the image so it shows something like the description and if the description doesn't fit you can Easily pan it uh, This should also have a scroll bar, but I haven't got too much time to do that and It shows how many views there are and how, well, which are the decks you can also click it the image to go back and if you want to see more information, you can always uh, click Go Flickr. So it go, it shows the browser page, and you can get much more information. And you can actually browse this like a normal browser. And okay, there are some. Box. This is pretty much the web browser code that I used. I made a little bit simplification there and how these buttons work. And you can close it from here and then just click back. And you can get back always by doing the long press. So this is pretty much the idea here. Uh, Okay, there are some pictures of that I have taken. Uh, not much to show. Go figure, same things. You can always look at it. For some reason, it doesn't show the picture, or then it's loading. Oh, now it loaded it. So. Um, Let's close the browser and you can always use this button also to get back and then a long press here. So that's how it works on, on uh, Mac. But Okay, here I run the same application with exactly the same code uh, 
on the N900 and I have already authenticated my application so I can close the browser window here so here is the main view and I can click uh, the button and scroll this is not as smooth as I would expect it, expect it to be and now it seemed even the crash, so let's start it again. So here it goes. So I run here actually C application, not QML viewer or anything like that. So you can browse it. And you can go here. Now it loads. You can go to the next one. There are some slugginess, so sometimes it just feels that it doesn't do anything on device. Like now, okay, it does something. So this works here. You can check from Flickr. And the long press should get us back to the where we came from here. There are some weird things that sometimes it seems to be really stuck on device. I'm using the cute experimental package here. And sometimes it just does something. And for some reason on device, it doesn't always show the text as it should show. So for example here, the description field is empty, even though I know that uh, it's actually quite full of text, as we can see from here. This is all the description text here. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, uh, if I go to some other images, as you actually show, um, now it's really slow, doesn't do much. So let's check it out this. Here you can see the text, so I don't know what's the difference there. Well, this is pretty much what I uh, wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.